Hey there, it's a great day to be almost retired. I wanted to do a quick review of our rear view camera. It's a Furion Vision S and I got the 7 inch. So this was a camera that was offered by the dealership and they offered labor to install it. I brought this ladder out with me to the dealership when we picked up the trailer and I installed it myself. I bought it on Amazon and it was a, it ended up being about $250 cheaper for me to buy it and install it myself than to have the dealership do it. So I wanted to show you really quick how easy it was to install. So Grand Design has Furion, a Furion mount already built into the back of their trailer. Um, when I got to the dealership, this mount had a plate over the top. Just take off the plate and inside it's already pre-wired with a connector. And you simply just plug the camera right here into this connector just feed the gently feed the wiring up into the housing itself so once you get this seated back into the bracket just use the screws that were holding on the plate I'm going to caution you on two things one these screws are really small and this is a plastic housing so you can over tighten them just tighten them so that they're seated but don't crank on those the second thing is the backup camera itself has a an adjustment and it's just these plastic teeth so you can tilt this up and down once it's in the housing you just want to make sure that w that when you do that you do it very gently because you will strip those gears out okay so the Furion Vision S in the box it comes with two different mounting options the first one is this dash mount where you can just plug it into the little ball on there and then set it on the dash or on a console the second one is this suction cup windshield mount which is what we use you just pop it into the little socket in the back of this with some pressure then hold down the power button to fire it up. So this Furion system supports up to four cameras. The monitor allows you to have one through four um, images at a time. When I bought the back, the rear view camera, I also bought a side camera for each side. It came in a kit of two and you put that on in the place of your side marker lights in the front of the trailer. Those were back ordered and I installed this camera at the dealership in Idaho and drove it home to Washington with only the rear camera and when I got home I realized that I didn't need this side uh, cameras. I could see out of my mirrors just fine so I went ahead and canceled that part of the order. I don't know what other camera monitor systems are out on the market. I did a little bit of research before I purchased this one and this one was the one that the dealership was going to sell me so um, I kind of focused on it. The image on the screen is not as high quality as I would expect for the price but it's adequate. Um, the camera does drop frames. I've noticed that it'll go, I'll see the cars moving along beside me or behind me, and suddenly they're in a different position. Two things that I need to mention. One is that I believe that this camera works on a 2.4 wireless network. There is some interference at times, and I feel like it's when I'm passing other vehicles that have the same type of camera. Uh, the camera will go black for three or four seconds and then come back up. It isn't a big deal. It, it hasn't failed to come back up, so it hasn't been a problem yet. The second thing is that you do need to have your headlights on in order for this camera to work. Uh, it's powered in the back of the trailer by the running lights, I believe. So if you turn off your headlights, you will not get a signal. Overall, I would highly recommend this camera. The price is a little bit on the high side, but if you buy it yourself, you're going to save yourself money from getting it at the dealership. And if you can get up on a ladder and work a screwdriver, you can install this. So anyway, hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.